If you haven't heard about the Great Reset by now, you will. Some of the world's most powerful and liberal elites are planning and advancing a radical transformation of every aspect of our lives, both business and personal. As if we needed more bad news in 2020, this is one of our worst nightmarish conspiracy theories coming true. According to CBN news correspondent Dale Hurd, he reports, the Great Reset was unveiled at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, where many of the world's most powerful people go to offer solutions to the world's problems. They have said that the coronavirus pandemic is a historic opportunity to change the way the world operates. Change is right, and they're not kidding. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. People generally don't scrutinize political campaign slogans because they always sound pretty good about something people want. Who wouldn't support hope and change? Who wouldn't want to make America great again? But why on earth would the Biden-Harris campaign and the World Economic Forum share the exact same slogan? What the heck does Build Back Better mean? The Washington Examiner calls it a Trojan horse. Some say it's a dog whistle for the Green New Deal. Others warn it comes from communism. Senior editor for The New American, Alex Newman, says the World Economic Forum is using the slogan Build Back Better to push the Great Reset and reinvent capitalism and promote contact tracing, an end to private property, privacy, and even humanity. Newman writes, quote, over the last century, well over 100 million people were slaughtered by their own communist and socialist overlords as those regimes fiendishly sought to centralize control over all property and resources in the hands of the elites. In the Western world, some of the most powerful individuals of the last century have been working toward that goal on a global scale, too. In his latest article, Newman called this a declaration of war, on our constitutional republic and a clear and present danger to the life, liberty, and property of almost every person on the planet. English journalist and Breitbart contributor James Dellingpole says the phrase build back better has been used by Justin Trudeau, the Pope, by the Prince of Wales, and by leaders around the world. So why the slogan for the Joe Biden, for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Well, according to Dellingpole, it's all part of the globalist planning and programming. He said this, you'd be amazed by how many world leaders are on board with this globalist plan, even people that claim to be conservatives. This is worse than Nazism. This is worse than communism. And this is worse than fascism. These guys are planning on taking over the whole world, end quote. If the power elites and the World Economic Forum get their way, what some people are calling a conspiracy theory will be our new way of life. We will have so-called green energy, but higher taxes and more regulation. Private property will be abolished, but we'll be happy about it. That's what they tell us, anyway. Energy will be rationed, expensive, and travel will be restricted. Surveillance by the state will be the new normal, and our privacy will be virtually non-existent. The globalists and their minions are feverishly working to force upon us a new world order. We know from experience that the left will use any crisis, real or imagined, for their progressive ends. That includes a pandemic. The COVID-19 battery ram has been used to crush our economy and many of our religious freedoms. For what? Promises of peace and safety, of course. How's that working out for you now? Speaking to world leaders in 2019, just a year ago, at the annual United Nations meeting in New York, in New York City, President Trump drew a line in the sand when he said the future doesn't belong to globalists. He took it a step further then when he added that the future belongs to sovereign and independent nations. Wow, their move. Referring to the cabal thrust upon America by a conglomerate government and Democrat media complex, author Terry James calls it the great coronavirus imposition. He writes, to the keen observer, and I believe even by the obtuse who are willingly ignorant, 
it has become obvious that the whole thing has been to bring down a president who opposes the internationalist ring of wickedness in high places, the globalists' elite, who are determined to bring on a changed world order, end quote. We have witnessed some dramatic and drastic measures to advance the socialist agenda, including attacks on our religious freedoms. How far are they willing to go? Just because Klaus Schwab and company tell us that the world is now entering a fourth industrial revolution does not mean that it's true. We do not have to accept their new normal or give in to their fear-mongering. But sadly, while we were sleeping, globalism has been advancing and many things have changed forever now due to COVID-19. But remember, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the devil who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God has allowed this intrusion in our lives for his purposes. Maybe it's a wake-up call. Their ultimate agenda to rule the world will eventually fail. It profits nothing to gain everything but lose your soul in the process. Though threats against Christians and the church will increase, always remember, this is temporary. He is eternal. So hold the line and stay strong in the Lord our God. In the end, wicked will be judged and evil will be vanquished. We are living in the most prophetic times in world history and are much closer to the return of Christ than ever before. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Most of you know our show is being censored by big tech. It's hidden, really, on YouTube, Facebook. Sadly, this impacts our long-term ability to produce the show, so we're tackling the problem by launching our brand new Patriot Club. Look at this beauty, right? For a $99 tax-deductible donation, you'll not only keep our show going, but we'll ship you this stainless steel tumbler etched with the American flag and freedom never tasted so good. Visit patriotclub.us to show your support. That's patriotclub.us. Thank you and God bless.